Hi, I'm Neil Thornberry, CEO of TJ Regional Health. Earlier today, we announced that patients will now be allowed one visitor or support person in all of our facilities, with the exception of COVID-19 patients and those in our long-term skilled nursing unit. We know that having a loved one with you when you are sick or in the hospital is an important part of the healing process. With your help, we will take every precaution to ensure the safety of our patients, visitors, and our team members. To safely make this change of allowing visitors back into our facilities, it's absolutely critical that everyone follow the guidelines and restrictions that are now in place. For example, at both of our hospitals, visiting hours will be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily, and only one visitor or support person is allowed with each patient. It is very important that if you are sick, you do not come to visit a patient or loved one in the hospital. All patients and visitors will continue to be screened for COVID-19 symptoms when they enter, and all patients and visitors are required to wear a mask. While we would love to be able to supply everyone with a mask, we must conserve our PPE for our patients and our team members. Therefore, visitors must supply their own masks. Let me reiterate, if you are going to accompany a patient to a visit or see them in the hospital, you must supply and wear your own mask. Also, as it relates to masks, our patients and visitors must properly wear their face mask over their nose and mouth throughout the duration of their visit. Please understand that these precautions are in place to protect our patients and our team members. Therefore, those who do not will be asked to leave. Visitors must be 18 or older, and those who are visiting a patient in the hospital at TJ Sampson will enter through the south entrance, while those visiting a patient at TJ Health Columbia will enter through the emergency department. Whether you are visiting a patient in the hospital or you are here with an outpatient, as a visitor, you must remain in the room with the patient and should not go to common areas such as the cafeteria or waiting rooms. To ensure the health and safety of our most vulnerable patients, visitors are not allowed in any units that are, des that are designated to care for patients with COVID-19 or in our skilled nursing unit. Let me remind you that visitor restrictions are subject to change as COVID-19 continues to evolve. But as always, we will work hard to keep you informed with the most up-to-date information. Your health and safety is our top priority, and the decisions we make are in the best interest of our patients, our medical staff, our team members, and our community. We are very thankful for your patience and your understanding, and we ask for your continued cooperation in our quest to beat COVID-19. Thank you.